Well, hello, Sag. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I am going to, um, I have another reading. Okay, as you guys know, that's the reason why you're here. And um, I am going to do this reading um, with these cards first. I'm just going to get like maybe one, two. If three comes out, fine. Okay. But I want to see what your overall energy, overall mood is. Sagittarius, see how you guys are. I love you guys. How have you been? You know, almost all the stuff that I've put out literally has all been pre-taped. So, yeah. I'm doing this video today. So you guys see that I what mood I'm in now? It's a completely different mood that I've been in in the last few couple of days because I'm telling you, um, yeah, I have not been in a good mood. <laughs> you can actually see it on some of the videos and I'm just like, listen, I don't even care. I'm just not feeling it, okay? Oh, listen, look at this. Every time, it don't matter what deck I have in my hand, Sag, this is always, this person comes out in your reading, you already know. You already know. We're going to get to the definition, but this is the King of Wands. We, we already know. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So how many came out? This is too many. Oh, wow. That was extremely too many. That was like six. So let's get some for Sag. I'm not going to let it pop out. That just popped out on its own. I'm just going to go ahead and perfect, perfect, perfect. Sag, you guys got literally all fire. Is this not what we talk about in every reading? I'm like, you guys are so fiery. Hey, let's get to it. Let's see what it says. Here it says, motivation, inspiring, ambitious, taking a leadership role. I feel like this is you too. I don't feel like it's necessarily your person, even though I feel like this is what you guys are drawn to. You guys are drawn to the King of Wands all the time. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, I feel like... Um, I feel like their person is important. I feel like they are, you know, very smart. People view them and, and they are very, how can I put it? Um, like, you know how they're like, I, I want to be like them. Like people look up to them type thing. And I feel like this is what you really like and I like about the person. They take action. They're very suave and sexy, like I always say. But even when we're talking about how they are outside of romantic interests, this person is, you know, looked at um, in, in a good light by people. I have the Four of Wands. Look at how beautiful this card is. Oh my God. The Four of Wands, y'all. So much to celebrate. Ugh. It literally says peace and contentment in your personal life. And Sag, I've been telling you guys this, I think the last couple of readings that you guys are moving into a connection where it's, you know, it's going to be a partnership. It's going to be very divine feeling. It's, it's going to be everything that you want. Some of you guys have been waiting. Some of you guys have not been in a connection in a long time. And you're just like, when is this going to happen? This is just beautiful. You guys got all fire. What does it say? Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for peace and prosperity. Prosperity that will be coming to you guys. Different, different set of cards, but all saying the same thing. What we usually see in the regular tarot. The exact same energy. <laughs> Wow, here is the knight, uh, the nine of wands, which talks about protect what you create, be prepared, never give up, um, and protecting your environment. I love that card. I love her hair. Gorge. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I do feel that you guys are being very protective over yourself. I feel like, you know, I feel like this, you, you want what you want. And if it's not right, you're standing guard. You guys have persevered through all the years and the months and the time that things have not happened and worked for you. And now it's coming. We saw that even here with that uh, four of wands. So we know it's coming. Yes. Yes. All right. So what we're going to do, let's put this aside. We're going to refer back to this um, throughout your reading. So let's get into your reading. Sag, how are you guys doing? How, is your, how has your birthdays been? Hopefully, hopefully everything has been all good with you, Sag. Look at what was trying to come out. 
And this, it, it flipped back over. But look, y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you guys are going to be going into some, some really good um, stages now. All right, so let's go ahead and get this for Sag. I want to let you guys see me shuffle on the camera. Strength, absolutely. Resilience, perseverance, happiness. Here with the Ten of Cups. Yes, you've been through your struggles. You've been through all of that, Sag. Someone can't let you go. And I think I've said this before. Um, I don't know if you guys know. Let me show you. This was at the bottom of the deck. And I really don't really see the bottom. But I remember what came out for your read last time. That's the Knight of Wands. Now, of course, in this one, it's a little bit different. It talks about someone who's very confident and passionate. But we, we know that is what it is with the King of the not the King of Wands. But you guys have been dealing with people who had toxic energies. And I'm telling you, I've been telling you guys that it's just this energy. You guys are trying to move on to your happiness. But there's someone who they feel extremely drawn to you. I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know what you did to this person. But this person is kind of like, and look at what's at the bottom of the deck. They, they want to work this out. I think the problem with you, Sag, is that you're going to be coming across a person to me that's going to really knock you off your feet, okay? And there's going to be someone who's not going to like it, okay? So let's go ahead and get some more cards. Oof. Something is about to literally shock you. <laughs> um, you're going to be very surprised here with this tower card. Mm. I don't know. Maybe you guys have been dealing with the Leo, possibly, that you haven't dealt with in a while. That was a little toxic. The person that hurt you, put you in the third party connection. It may not, it doesn't have to be a Leo, but it's the person that you, you, you're, you were struggling emotionally because of this person. Okay. The tower is there because it's like, it all came down because of what they did. And we see what they did. We had the devil, the tower and the three of, the three of swords. This person, this person did you guys dirty. Okay. Can we talk about it? That's what they did. And you guys are going to be extremely guarded. And let me tell you, let me tell oh, this devil came out again. What, who is this? Who is this person? Look at what came out. Listen, these came out in my lap. Remember this? Remember the read I did a long time ago? Some of you guys are dealing with the talk of, of, of karmic. And that may be the reason why it may be hard to resist them. Even if they go away, you're like, I just want to be break free. But that may be the reason why you guys, um, why it may be hard to resist. Okay. Because there's some type of sexual hold I feel here. This person isn't happy. They're not happy. You're not happy. You're not happy until you find that person because see, you have too many memories of the past and see, this is the reason why here where it says, protect what you create, be prepared, never give up. Remember, be prepared. Why? Because someone's going to try to come back into your life. Be prepared for that entry because they're going to try to do it. But see, you guys have to ask yourself, is this something that you guys want to deal with, especially if they're still in this Devil energy. Just saying. Okay. Someone's drinking. This came out twice. Someone's drinking a lot. Somebody has a lot of bad habits. And it's because they don't have you. It's like they want you, but they can't control their bad habits and their bad habits is being enforced by the fact that they don't have you now. And they're watching you. Okay. 
they know that this is over for the most part here with the death card. Oof, this is going to be see they're going to they're going to really try to make something work. And um I just don't see it. I don't see it. You know, cuz here like I said with this one, you're you're moving in this space. You guys are moving in the four of four of wands energy. You're not going to let anybody to keep look how beautiful Look how beautiful this is. Just close your eyes. Don't it feel sunny and warm? And it's just you two. You see how they're like enclosed in the four of wands? It's just them dancing. You're in that mode. That's where you're trying to go with someone who actually takes action. And when they say they're going to do something, they do it. So, you know, this person may try, but I'm just not feeling that. I'm not feeling that for you when it comes down to this person. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and clarify. Oh, you're somebody's wish. This came out again. Look at what came out. The three. This person is heartbroken. This person is heartbroken. This is not just about what you've been through and how you struggled. This person is to... See, this person is going to try to come back in. They're heartbroken and they're going to try to, they're going to try to get you, Sag. Because see, you're their wish, you're their dream. And a lot of you guys actually were with this person for a while before they did what they did. But this is the person that's going to try to sneak back in. Very manipulative, self-sabotaging, all types of stuff. But this person really wants to be with you. They really do. This is what I'm saying here. So let's go ahead and get the Ten of Cups. Let's get the Ten of Cups here. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Wow. Three did come out. Look at this. Four of Wands. The second one. Sag. Sag, look at where... <laughs> Look at what's here. This is new. You guys are going into this phase. As soon as you, soon as you start your new beginning, it's over with. This is this is over and done when it comes down to this person. You don't really want to hear it. Look at what it look at what this is. This is nothing but passion. How many fire signs do we have to get? How many wands? It's so fiery and intense. And here you are. So this new person, who wherever phase you guys are going to go to, this person, you're going to know, you're going to know, you're going to know to take action here with this Ace of Wands, because this is going to be your everything. You're going to find your happiness and, and you know, uh, amidst the heat, the, the devastation that you've suffered, your healing from this toxic energy. This is fantastic. You had the two of wands that came out twice. You had the wish fulfillment card that came out three times. Okay. This is going to be yours. Oh yeah. Ego, egotistical. Egotistical. This person is going to be calling. Told you. And now they want, they want this with you. And let me, let me be real. Some of you guys are going to take a risk and go back. Because you feel this passion. That's what you feel on the inside with them. Because they're like magic. They're magical to you. Even though it's going to be a conflict. Even though they had other people around. They're very egotistical. Love, attention. This person is going to try to communicate. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. You guys are in a pickle. <laughs> Oof, this is going to be tough. Let's go ahead and get to the devil card. This is going to be tough because, you know, I, you know, it's not like you guys are a robot and you could just turn your feelings off right away. But, you know, you guys don't want the hassle of dealing with this devil again. And, you know, this person can promise you things all they want, but you still have the memory of what they've done. Okay. And again, like I said, your main thing is to what? Have your four of wands, to have your beautiful ending. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, this is too many. Ooh, that's just, that was sticking too much. Let me go ahead and shuffle. Look at what fell down. Can you guys see that from here? The star card. This is clear by the devil. Honey, this, this devil has a strong attachment to you. And some of you guys have a strong attachment to them. This is strong. Oh, wow. Wow. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn. Because that's the devil and that's the king of pentacles. This person wants every little thing with you. And they are going to use that magician card to get you back. Be prepared. Isn't that what that says? Be prepared. They're going to try to win you over. And this is the reason why that tower is there. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, let's go ahead and get the tower card. I'm going to try to get one card. Oh, yeah, you guys haven't been talking. One more. See, they're going to break that silence by coming in. Listen. They miss you. And some of you guys miss them. Some of you guys feel left out in the cold. And there's not going to be a getting back together. Remember, there's two realities with one sign. Some of you guys are going to stay. Some of you guys are going to leave. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of you guys are going to find love no matter what you choose because it's going to be up to you. This is your individual destiny. But listen, whoever it is coming in your life, you are not going to even know that is. I mean, it, it's like, I, I it, remember I said it's going to shock you. Oh, yeah. It will. It's going to shock you. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's go ahead and get that three of swords. Oof. We got the king of pentacles here. And we also have the queen of pentacles. This is a couple. We actually see couples all throughout this read. This person has been thinking about you nonstop. They, they want to come back in. And I'm telling you, this person is very passionate. Very, very sexual. Possibly an earth sign. This is the player that broke your heart who wants to ride back in. Remember we saw that here? This is the second time it came out. Because we saw the Knight of Wands here. You guys are about to start something new and it's going to be, it's going to scare you. It's going to scare, scare you. Okay. Because part of that death card talks about transformation. Who's been transformed? You, them, the connection. Some of you guys are putting things away. This is it. You guys, I'm telling you, whew. New or old, this is it. And I love the fact that here at the bottom, it's like you guys have options. Even when you don't think you have options, you have options. Don't get your, don't confuse yourself. You know what you want individually. You know what you want. It doesn't have to be the past. And, a, and, and don't say, well, maybe the past is it. And I don't have anybody now. And what if, what if I miss? No. What is this saying? What is this telling you? You have options. Don't confuse yourself. Use your intuition. Part of this literally says instincts. Trust your instincts. Stay focused 
on what it is that you really want in this life. Okay? Let's get it. Let's get to the page of swords. Let's get to this last one. Balance out, Sash. This is you. Brand new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles, long-term committed relationship. Transforming again. Telling you that whatever has died will be, you know, I guess, regeneration, temperance, and time. You have ended cycles and a brand new beginning here is waiting for you. There is going to be a long-term committed relationship here. Leave the past behind if that's what you want, because that's what this is saying. And some of you guys will be facing this with someone from your past. Now, I don't see from your past here, but we saw it here. A lot of you guys are moving into new connections with new people. And it's going to be extremely passionate, loving connections. Your four of wands, everything that you ever wanted is going to be here for you. So, Sash, that was your beautiful reading. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Please like and subscribe. I love you and I thank you. And I will see you guys back here again, maybe tomorrow. It's close to Christmas, so I'm trying to have a video up almost every day. <laughs> I love you. Bye.